Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you a nice color correction for your uh, cinematics or your clips. Um, so, yeah, this is the color correction. Um, yeah, first of all, I, I will delete everything so we can start. Um, first of all, you need an um, adjustment layer. Just go to layer, new adjustment layer. And then go to effect, color correction, curves. So then bring this down a bit so everything gets a bit darker. And then go to the channel, change it to blue. And drag this up a bit and this down a bit so that the shadows get a bit more blue and the highlights get a bit less blue. So I think that's okay. Then go to the red channel, drag it up a bit at the top and then at the bottom you drag it down a bit. I think that's already too much. Yeah, that's that's okay. <clears throat> then go to effect, color correction. Um, I think tint, and then change the amount to tint to uh, fifteen. That will just desaturate the whole thing a bit. Then go to effect, um, color correction and then CC toner go to the midtones and change that to uh, dark blue then change the blend with the original to 75 percent that will make it a bit more blue um, so if that's too dark for you um, you can yeah, add a glow or something or you could just go to the curves and then go to the RGB channel and drag that up a bit I will just leave it here because we will add a light now. Uh, the glow, I mean. So to do that, um, you can maybe use Video Copilot Optical Flares or No Light Factory or something. Um, I will use Optical Flares for this. So I need a black solid. Just go to Layer New Solid and then make it black. Then if you don't have this layer mode, you have to press F4 on your keyboard and go to the layer mode Add. And then go to effects, video copilot, opti <coughs> optical flares. Um, then go to your options tab and go to clear all. Um, your optical flares might not look like this, uh, then I think it should be somewhere at the right. Um, yeah, then you can add this glow, or you could go to the custom tab and there's another glow, I think. Let me see. Yeah, this soft light iris or something. But I will just go for the glow. Uh, you can leave it blue or make it any color you want. Maybe an orange or something. Uh, and for this tutorial, I will make this orange, I think. Then press OK. Then drag it up to um, up to the spot where you want it. Bring up the brightness to 150 or whatever you want and the scale to maybe 152 um, <clears throat> okay um, now we will add a um, vignette to the whole composition so I think that looks better on cinematics uh, to do that you could make a new solid uh, make it black then go to your mask view um, yeah, press the left uh, mouse button and then go to the uh, ellipse tool double click on that go to your mask tab and inverse it <coughs> then go to the feather drag that up a bit and then press S and scale the whole thing up so or you could just delete that and go to layer new light copy down these settings uh, press ok by the way you don't really need these settings uh, then uh, when you don't see the vignette you go to your uh, select one layer press F4 and then make your layers um, 3D layers um, to do that you just click on the uh, little box here and then the cube appears then go to the blue arrow the Z arrow and bring it back. 
so yeah that's basically it and <clears throat> if this you don't like these colors then just go to your adjustment layer again go to the curves and just play around with the uh, uh, yeah, with all these colors maybe you can add some green or something whatever you want to but don't uh, bring it down or up too much because then it will look unrealistic <coughs> but I prefer th this way and yeah if you want another um, tutorial for another color correction maybe an even better one then like the video and comment um, maybe I could give away um, or make a tutorial on one color correction every week and um, yeah like the video <laughs> I said that before but yeah please do that that really helps me out um yeah and that's it bye